<laughs> okay. It's 20 minutes later. I've had a bowl of Cheetos. And I'm probably not prepared for the rest of this season. Oh, this ought to be fun. Hey guys, it's Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with Torchwood. Last time on Torchwood, we started Children of Earth with Day One. Not to be confused with the second episode of Series One, which was also called Day One. That's, um... We don't talk about that episode. I mean, we kind of do because it was kind of funny and weird, but... Yeah. Not the point. The point is Children of Earth. Um... The Children of Earth were sort of being possessed, kind of, is like the best way I could put that. Um, and these aliens that we are so far designating as the 456 are communicating through the children. And a bunch of stuff happened, and there are these people. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. And Torch uh, uh, Jack exploded and took the whole Torchwood base with him, I guess. So, yeah. Yeah, don't know where we're going from here, but we'll see. Uh, this is where I say no spoilers in the comments whatsoever. Let's stick to this episode and previous episodes of Torchwood, Doctor Who, Doctor Who Classic, and the Sarah Jane Adventures that I have reacted to. And one more reminder that this Wednesday will be Children of Earth Day 3, no Doctor Who this week. I know this will be the first time that I ever skip Doctor Who entirely, not even a classic or anything like that, but yeah. This Wednesday, no Doctor Who, but we are going to be continuing continuing on with Children of Earth. But before we get to that, we obviously have to get through Day 2. So yeah, with that being said, let's get right into this episode of Torchwood. Here we go. Yeah, Torchwood, Children of Earth. Day 2. Oh man, the entire base is gone. I wonder who came up with the idea for this. For this five day thing. Uh oh, no survivors. Yeah, Gwen! Oh! Oh! Oh god, fire extinguishers are so violent. Sniper! So it's not just that they wanted to kill Jack, but they wanted to kill Torchwood. Sniper! The sniper snuck- sucks, by the way. Sucks. Sucks! I'm working for the government. I just follow orders, that's all. It's just the government. Oh! <laughs> Poor Reese. Ah, oh, crap. Quit, quit honking! Oh! She shot the tires! She shot the wheels? What kind of terrorist shoots you wheels? Hmm? A clever one. Oh. Finally, someone shoots the wheels! Thank you! Oh, that's amazing. Ah, it's just a newspaper guy. Bring, get a disguise, get a hat, get a hoodie, get sunglasses, get a scarf, get something. You have your wallet on you, you can buy all these things. Just get to a shop. We want a pony. We want a pony. We want a pony. <laughs> See? <laughs> Nothing to worry about. That's funny. Harkness is a difficult man to kill. Yeah. Current theories suggest that his longevity is connected in some way to the Torchwood Hump. It's not. Which necessitated taking out the entire operation. But that's what they thought. After that. God, they have to stay there to be sure he's dead. Oh shit. Like they wanted him out the way or something. Lois, your job. You don't overhear phone calls. You speak when you're spoken to, okay? Remember your place, Sorry. damn. 
So they only found part of him, but could that part regrow, basically? Oh, damn, Yanto. Just all up in there. We need to get to London. London? Mm hmm Everything's dead in London. That's where all the decisions are made. Whoever wants us dead, that's where they'll be. Right. Huh. That's where we should be is John O'Groats. I need to speak to people, but I haven't got anybody's numbers anymore. So we've got to go there, okay? Yeah. We've got to go. These things are all linked up. As soon as you put your card in, they'll start ringing somewhere. Come on. Okay, so they're going to London now. That's interesting. Oh my gosh. Is he reforming? Yeah, it's moving. Oh god, that has to be disgusting. God, that's got to be terrifying for them. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's all that's left of him? It was a bag of bits when it came in. And I asked you to keep an eye on it. Get out of that thing and cover to the wall. God, so that's... That's disgusting. I didn't even... That's... Oh, God, that's crazy. That that's all that's left of him and it's still coming back. Seems like you would want an actual truck. And not whatever that was. Why wouldn't you just have a full... Like, thing. That's... That's weird. Don't know what you're talking about. Oh, so you're perverts then! Don't know what you're talking about. Ah, distraction. That's really clever, actually. Nice job, I like them. Oh. He's alive. Crap, here we go again. Tomorrow? Oh no. That's not good. Hold the line, please. Hello. I'll put you on hold if that's Hello? all right. Mr. Frobisher will be back in a moment. And, uh, I'll have to put you on hold. We are coming no, tomorrow. Hello? Huh. 38. So, okay, so it's not specifically the Welsh government, it's the government of the UK. My bad. Some of the stuff you've done, you're like unsung national heroes. Listen, I don't do autographs and I don't want to be rude, but why am I talking to you and not your boss? Because if he knew you were here, you'd be dead. Yeah, he's trying to kill you. I've been told Captain Harkness is dead. Well, that can't be true. Well, that's what I thought. I overheard Mr. Frobisher say to keep him under surveillance. I mean, why do that to a dead person? It's because he's coming back. Come on! Who's the genius behind the camera? Come on, come on, take your bow! Well, he's full again. Wait, what? Conti- oh! They're filling that place with concrete? Or cement or whatever? Oh my gosh, he's fucking buried alive again! Do you know where they're keeping him? The name of the contact at the compound is a corporal command. His number's on there and he'll be expecting you. Man, she is good. Got her information and him food. Guess what I do? When this is all over and you want a job, come see me. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we are definitely happy to keep you. Prime Minister. Ready? Let's go. So this is the Prime Minister Please after Harold Saxon. Not she's seen anyone. She's married. Married and pregnant. You can forget it, mate, right? Dang it. All right, good. Couple of what? Nah. Shut your mouth, Reese. In 
Intruders two of West Corridor. Intruders two of West Corridor. Yeah, they know you're here now. But they don't know that you're you know, Gwen. They don't know that you're you. What the hell is that? That's cement. And inside of that cement is Jack Harkness. Okay. There's still Yanto out there though. Whoa! Oh! Nice job, Yanto! Alright, block him off. Oh, blow up the truck too! Now it's a wall of truck and fire! You can't get through that. Is he gonna break it? He's gonna try to break it, throw it off a cliff. Let's hope this works. Oh god, that might have ripped his body apart again. Hey, he's our. There he is. Oh god. Don't worry. Gang's here. God, did someone buy clothes? Come on, we got work to do. Oh god, he's still chained. Oh my gosh, is this the end of the episode? Oh, almost. 9% hydrogen cyanide, 6% acetone, 6% phosgene. Is it their atmosphere? In short, poison. If we know the composition of that gas, can't we work out what sort of creature could live inside it? The could doctor do. could. Whoever they are, they're coming for Britain. But why? Exactly. Why is that, Mr. Frobisher? Maybe they're coming for the doctor. That would be interesting. Or maybe you're the bad guy. Is this it? Yep. Oh boy, that's another one down. Okay. Who boy, this is um this is interesting. This is definitely interesting. Really I just want to watch it all, man. I want to watch it all, but I, ugh. I, do, I don't have time to watch all five of them. Maybe I have time to go ahead and watch the next one, but I don't know. This is just so interesting. Alrighty. Okay. Let's go ahead and go over my notes. Um... The first thing I wrote down was killing Torchwood. So, we did see in this episode that they do specifically... Like, they specifically targeted Jack. And, you know, they put the bomb in Jack. But they did say, we want no survivors. So, they don't want anyone to survive from Torchwood. Which means, no Jack, no Gwen, no Yanto. But why? Why are they trying to take out Torchwood specifically? Because we didn't really see that, you know, they're trying to take out UNIT or anything. But, yeah, why is that? And it's interesting that, honestly, because we don't know anything about the 456 right now, the villains, the immediate villains, I suppose, are the government. Which, originally I wrote down the Welsh government, but it does seem to be the government of the UK. And this Prime Minister, I assume, is the Prime Minister that... Uh, took over after, you know, Harold Saxon was a was horrible and stuff. So yeah. I yeah, I assume after this after the whole Harold Saxon thing, that's the prime minister that took over. And so this is the thing is that it's not specifically I thought it was specifically that they were the Welsh government, but it it's the UK government, so I got that confused. But still, 
why does the government want to take out Torchwood? And they don't really seem to be cooperating with UNIT anymore, which is interesting. Because at first we saw, you know, we saw the guy and we saw the guy from UNIT, but that was just that. He was just that. I don't know. It's very strange. Like, he was just sort of there and that was in. That's all the UNIT involvement we've had. So, yeah, why is the government specifically trying to take out Torchwood in this? You would think that with something like, you know, the 456 with these alien threats, like, wouldn't you want to keep Torchwood around? I don't know. Uh, I also wrote down, uh, it's interesting that they thought that uh, Jack's powers were tied to the Torchwood hub. The hub of Torchwood 3, basically. Because... You know, they and they even says like it's probably his powers are probably connected to that rift that runs through their base. But that's interesting because obviously I don't know how much they actually know about the Doctor because Torchwood knows about the Doctor. You know, even going so far as because Torchwood was founded because of the Doctor, and then um. And UNIT obviously knows about the Doctor. They've worked with the Doctor. But the government doesn't seem to really know about the Doctor. So they wouldn't know about him. They wouldn't know his involvement with Jack Harkness. And obviously they wouldn't know Bad Wolf. So it's interesting to think that that's why they think he can't be killed. Is because of the Torchwood hub. So by eliminating that they think okay well then he should stay dead. But he doesn't. And that's crazy to see even that... Like, this has to be the worst death he's had so far. Because, you know, pretty much everything else, like, there will be an injury, but his body has pretty much stayed intact as long for ever since he died to the Daleks. So, it's interesting that all they found, like, they said, it's like, we found an arm, part of his shoulder, and a, and part of his head. And you saw it there. It's like, it wasn't just the, like, oh, they just found John Barrowman's head. It's like, it was down pretty much to the bone. Like, but it was all red and gooey. And it's like, ugh. It's completely, like, mortifying looking. But from that, because of Bad Wolf, because he is still a fact. He is a fixed point in history. He is a fixed point in the universe now. He still regenerated, basically. He, he came back from that and has a completely new body now. So, that was interesting. I wrote down London. Uh, so, so that's when I figured out, you know, this is the UK government, not specifically the Welsh government. But this is the UK government that's uh, going after Torchwood. And it's also interesting that... That's immediately where Gwen wanted to go, was to London. Like, okay... We there are people there who can help us. I don't have the number, so we're gonna have to go there. Um, we're gonna have to go there ourselves. So it's interesting that she initially wanted to go to the government. They wanted to go to uh, Frobisher, and so Gwen really wanted to go to Frobisher to see why, you know, try to get help basically and try to find out who in the British government was trying to take down Torchwood, and then she found out it was. Uh, him that wants to take down Torchwood but um, but yeah it's like it's also interesting that she doesn't go to UNIT you would think she would and honestly because UNIT is so it is somewhat similar to Torchwood I mean Torchwood they do a lot of things differently with Torchwood but UNIT is still sort of designed to you know combat these extraterrestrial uh, threats it's just that it was Unit is more international, whereas Torchwood is specifically British. So, yeah. And you would think that her first contact would be Martha. Like, you would think that she would go to Martha because, like, okay, Martha is a part of Unit, so you should go to Martha. And, and you know, last season they met Martha and stuff like that. So, it's interesting that her first idea is to go to Frobisher instead of going to Unit who already deals in extraterrestrial activity, basically. Um, I wrote down Yanto's brother-in-law, which, that was really clever when they, 
because you know Yanto's family is being um, basically spied on by these people in the car. So it's like I like that you know that was the clever way of making sure that uh, Yanto's sister got out of there without being seen and without being followed is to just go over with a bunch of kids and just start messing with them and block their sight. Uh, I wrote down the potatoes. That was kind of funny that they just kind of hitched a ride in a potato truck. It, although, it's so weird. It's like, why wouldn't you just have... In a semi, why wouldn't you just have metal sides? Like, you know, why would you have it to where you can easily just get through? Like, it's just a tarp that you buckle down. It's like, just to have a metal wall. Like, why would you do that? That's so weird. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's a British thing. I've never seen... I've never seen a semi that didn't that didn't have metal walls instead of that tarp that you buckled that that was weird. So I wrote that down just to say that was weird. I wrote down tomorrow. Uh, the children said that the four, five, six will be coming tomorrow, uh, which is interesting. I, I do like that this is all this basically this does take place over five days. That's the whole point of day one, day two, and stuff like that. So I do like that, and I like that. It's just all one continuing story. We haven't had a lot of that from Torchwood. The most we've had is that sort of trilogy of episodes about Owen's death, basically. Because we had the first episode, and at the end of that, Owen died. The next episode, he came back and he was dealing with that. And then the next episode, he kept dealing with that and stuff. And then eventually, he came to terms with it. So, like, that, that's that been the closest. And then other than that, like, the season finales where it's like okay on episode 12 we have you know on episode 12 we tie into the next episode basically like in series one we had billis in series two we had john hart and gray and so yeah so it's interesting i do like that this is all just one continuing story and it all takes place over these five days so that's interesting so and that also makes it nice to know that we are getting we are going to see the four, five, six in the next episode because next episode is day three. So yeah, uh, UK government. We already talked about that. I wrote down Lois. I like that. I like that she did sort of. She basically committed treason to talk to Gwen, and she is helping out. And I do like that. Oh God, excuse me. And. I like that I like her just bringing in all this information because I was kind of thinking like okay if she was you know if she was going to help Torchwood and eventually become a member of Torchwood it's like what exactly would she do it's like well what can she do I don't know she's just kind of a she's just kind of an assistant but she knows pretty much everything that she knows everything that this government is trying to do she knows like okay well if he's gonna go there but he has to check in here and this and that and this would be at this time and here's a map and here's this and here's that and here's this and and just all this information which is so useful and i do like that that gwen's like look when all this is done if you need a job you come talk to me because like yeah gwen immediately is like oh this is exactly who we need at torchwood so i did like that uh, it'll be interesting to see if we bring her back I would imagine we would, like, well, I mean, not, like, bring her back at all, but, like, if we're gonna bring her back in the next couple episodes, maybe. Uh, I wrote down the cement, that, oh, poor Jack. The guy get the guy got buried alive twice! Twice! The first time he was buried in dirt, the next time he was put in cement, it's like, oh my gosh. But that does make sense that they would do that, that, because this is when they finally realized, like, okay, we can't kill Jack Harkness. Like, we just can't. It's just, it's not possible. We blew him up and he still came back. So, if we can't do that, then we'll just have to contain him. So, they just poured cement all over him. It's like, oh, that sucks. But, I do like... I do like how they saved Jack. And I like that they did that immediately, too. Like, so Gwen was there... Gwen and Reese were there and they were trying to get to him. But then they found the cement. And then Yanto... Yanto just coming in... With like a forklift and just pulling all of that out. It's like, jeez Louise. It's like, how, how does he know that that's the room he's in? And how did, he, how does that, how did it actually pull all the concrete out? It's like, I don't know how he did that. But that was amazing and I loved it. So yeah, and then the last thing I wrote down was the chamber. So yeah, the, um, I would assume that, you know, they listed off all these elements. And it's like, okay, 
this must be like the atmosphere that these that the four, five, six can survive in. It's like, okay, well, that's interesting. So, I don't know. That's interesting. It's like, okay, but we still don't know. Why are they here? Who are they even? We don't know. All we know is that they're called the four, five, six. And Deckard seems like way too enthusiastic about this. He's like, yes, maybe they will come. And he's like, they'll come here and it's going to be amazing or something. It's like, why are they coming or something? It's like, or why have they only talked to the UK and stuff like that? It's like, what? You could at least try to hide that you're evil. So, yeah, I don't know what's up with him. We'll have to figure that out. And, yeah, why is it specific? Why are they specifically going to the UK? And it would be interesting if the reason was... If the reason was that they are looking... They are trying to find the doctor. And they're maybe that's why they're having the children, you know, deliver these messages. Because they want to try to attract... They try to want to attract as much attention to try to get the doctor. But... It's entirely possible that that's not that that's not the case. We don't know. We really don't know. So, yeah, it's probably nothing to do with the doctor, but that would be interesting too. So yeah, we'll have to see next time. So, be sure you head back. Be sure you come back on Wednesday, and we will watch day three. I'm Alex from Seventh Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more of my Torchwood reactions, you can click on the playlist, you can subscribe if you haven't done that already, and be sure you hit that notification bell. You can support me on Patreon and follow me on social media, links below in the description. See you guys later.